Some call it Australia's Barbary Coast. And there are a few pirates there for sure. Others call it Sin City. And there's some of that around too. One Sydney alderman wants it cleaned up. Another says it's worth a million a year the way it is. If you can believe what you read about it, the inhabitants make their living out of baccarat, dope, witchcraft, prostitution, stripping, and selling each other salami. But you can't invent anything about the place that isn't partly true. The cross is something that Sydney bears with a mixture of disapproval and delight. But you won't find it on any map, and there's no street sign that says King's Cross. It's a no-man's land with something for everyone. It has no boundaries to its name and no limits to its way of life. In fact, the cross is not a place, but a state of mind. From its heart, you can go about half a mile in any direction before you run out of the lights into the darkness of the outside world. A half mile there and back. A glittering mile of dreams, delusions, hopes and headaches. Where life comes out of an espresso machine. You can have it any way you like it. What do these throngs of people still walking up and down the cross at midnight come here for? What do they hope to find? If you find all this commonplace, what about a bit of black magic? There's not as much about as there used to be in the days when Rosalind Norton had this notice on her door. And a chemist hung out a notice one night, gone to mass, black, in half an hour. But Rosalind Norton herself, the most famous witch in Sydney, still has faith in her powers. If you look in any night at the Apollyon lounge at the cross, Apollyon, by the way, was the archangel of the bottomless pit, you might find Rosalind Norton as Suzanne Baker did. Zoe, um, people always associate you with witchcraft, and some people even say they think you are a witch. What have you got to do? Well, I say think about that. <laughs> They're rather, rather lagging behind the, the, uh, the publicity that I've had. That's all I think. Yes, I certainly am a witch. Hmm. Is it difficult being a witch? Actually, it's just in the world would be much more difficult not to be. Are you ever sorry you didn't have, uh, or you don't have a life that, um, say, ordinary people have, like getting married and having children? Oh, God, and now I couldn't, couldn't stand it. I'd go mad. You know this one, Dave and Kevin? Venus de Milo was noted for her charm. Strictly between us, you're cuter than Venus. And what's more, you've got arms. So let's go cuddle in a corner. Any cozy little corner Love is just around the corner When I'm around you 